Kentaro. Welcome back to Lore and Legends. Today we will travel to the realm of order as we cover the backstory, biography, and history of the great general Hotaru. Hotaru made his first appearance in 2004's Mortal Kombat Deception, a samurai inspired zealot figure who is never seen out of his armour, which is the main attire of the Royal Guard of Sado, the Realm of Order. A realm with mesmerising pyramid architecture and advancements in technology, but at a cost. The cost of their people's freedom. Sado was a realm that lived in a harsh and brutal authoritarian society in which strict rules must be followed, and if not they believed that chaos would corrupt the land and destroy their civilization. The Sado guards were protectors of these laws, and Hotaru led them with strict diligence. Hotaru's name translates from Japanese to mean firefly, and this is represented in his exoskeleton armour and decorative flags that are firefly written in Chinese and resemble Hotaru's wings. Hotaru is supremely devoted to protecting law and order, believing that all living things must obey the laws of nature that the universe has provided. He goes by the Sado Code, freedom leads to anarchy, anarchy leads to chaos, and chaos leads to suffering. Hotaru is much like physical representation of this ideology. There is no freedom, there is only order, and he will punish those who would dare cause such chaos. This makes him the arch nemesis of the cleric of chaos, Havoc. Hotaru is a master martial artist and even has abilities that allow him to project red hot magma. For centuries before the events of Mortal Kombat, Hotaru has watched over his home realm and protected law and order with his Sado forces. Hotaru could be seen as a hero, but in actuality he only serves the side that poses most order. In Sado, a sect of warriors that broke away from the strict enforcement started a resistance led by Darius, and this caused conflict between the two forces. A conflict that has lasted for years and settled on a stalemate between both sides. At the same time, Hotaru and the Sado Guard had many sieges to the realm of chaos, but any attempt to bring it under their laws was unsuccessful. In the conquest mode of deception, Shujinko reaches Hotaru to ask for aid in Shao Kahn's attack on the outworld city of Li Chan. Hotaru is interested in the conflict, but can't leave Sado until his battle with Darius and the resistance is first settled. Shujinko aids Hotaru in the conflict, and in return, Hotaru follows Shujinko into outworld. They push back Shao Kahn's Tarkatan forces, and Lei Chan falls under Sado rule. Unbeknownst to Shujinko, he now became a citizen of Lei Chan, and in Sado's strict rules, you cannot be out of town past curfew. When Shujinko returns many years later to see his old friend Hotaru, he sentences him to imprisonment for ignorance and breaking the law. Shujinko is locked away for a long time, until he is freed by Dairo. Hotaru arrives to imprison Shujinko once more, but not letting anything else pardon his quest from the Elder Gods, Shujinko defeats Hotaru and escapes. Many years later, after Shao Kahn's defeat during his battle for Earthrealm and the Dragon King Onaga's resurrection, Hotaru re-emerged to stand alongside him, believing that the Dragon King would bring order to the universe. Anyone who would stand against Onaga would be hunted down by Hotaru and be given, as he saw it, judgement. His first task was to capture the then new Grand Master of the Lin Kuei, Sub-Zero. However, he was defeated when Sub-Zero allied with blind ninja Ken Shi. His second and final playable appearance would be in 2006's Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Here he would join the forces of darkness in the battle for Armageddon, still siding with the Dragon King Onaga. In the battle, he is successful in killing Li Mei, stabbing her through the abdomen. However, like many of the combatants in this battle, he would be killed trying to reach the Pyramid of Argus. 
Now in the timeline where Hotaru is the one that reaches the top of the pyramid and defeats Blaze the Elemental, Hotaru is given godlike powers, becoming a being of pure order and energy. With his powers, he could turn anyone he wishes into an agent of order. He does so to Havoc, pouring all his ideals into Havoc's mind and rebirths him as his second in command in preserving order. But this timeline didn't come to pass. Instead, Raiden had no choice but to reset the timeline, passing a message back through time to his former self. In this new timeline, Hotaru has less interference in the events of Mortal Kombat, but the realm of Sado still does exist. Hotaru wouldn't make another playable appearance, however he did still make a cameo in Joker's ending in Mortal Kombat 11. Now in the timeline where the Joker defeats Kronika and controls the sands of time, he discovers the Chaos Realm and Order Realm and teams up with Havoc, Su Hao and Melina to destroy Sado and Hotaru is seen being killed by Melina. And that brings you all up to date on Hotaru. I really found this character to be quite interesting, almost like a Judge Dredd of the MK universe, believing himself to be Judge, Jury and Executioner of the Sado Guard. Seen by some to be a bringer of justice, for others a villain. What did you think of Hotaru? Do you think they should bring him back? Two appearances in my opinion really wasn't enough to flesh out this character and his ideals. Let me know what you think of this character in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next Lore and Legends. There are some big Lore and Legends episodes in the works and they'll be coming very soon. So thank you all so much for your patience and have a nice day. Thank you.